From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their Mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place known for yan dogs and pepperoni rolls, probably some liquid refreshments. The Mountaineer faithful ready to go here in Morgantown. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we see the number seven team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on a team from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Penn State's offense will get the first crack at it here. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All 10 guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. When you talk about creating big plays in the running game like this, this makes the game really easy. Actually, when you've got a guy like this that you can hand it to with this much speed and elusiveness, just hard to bring down in the open field. What a big game for the offense. The give from the gun. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Let's see what they've got on second down. Dropping back, it's Allard. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes a connection. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it, and they pick up the first. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. Touch pass on the run. Inside the 30. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. From the gun, the running back looking for Rome. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the tailback. They get him down, tough run, picks up four, they'll mark it at the 19. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Back to throw, it's Aller. Into the end zone! Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Right down the boulevard, it's good. 
And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the West Virginia Mountaineers offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. This offense capable of exploding at any moment. Now they're set up inside the 30 with a first and 10. Looking to pass. It's green. Flushed out of the pocket. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Gets it out fast. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, West Virginia! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Singleton. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Oh, right through his hand. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. And if you're going to win games, you have got to hit on the home run type plays. And that was a great opportunity right there. The receiver has got to be able to look that football in and make a catch. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Power football with the run. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Now facing a third and long. 
Looking for a man. It's Aller. They're bringing heat. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. The Nittany Lions will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. To the air on first down. Throwing right. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. He's got to finish the play through the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. I know everyone's yelling, but he didn't get the first down. We need more yards. But if you think about it, nice short completion sets up a third down. And guess what? Nowadays, fourth down, green light. We're going to go for it anyways. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. The Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They'll run play action. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Well, the timing on that throw and on the route was just convoluted and messed up from the beginning. And you see quarterbacks and wide receivers in the offseason always working on timing and always working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. A lot of times, you'll see these little mistakes and what it looks like just the... And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers! The big tight end, always able to make the defense pay. And tight ends have evolved so much in football. Man, these guys are like wide receivers now. And you see why. Got the athletic ability, the big bodies, throw to them, and they make big plays for them. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 14-3. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The Nittany Lions headed quickly to the line. Leaves it with the back. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stands and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Wallace. Tackled immediately after the catch. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. They've got it at the 41. Third is short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to get it through the air. A little too much on that one, just out of his reach. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Eddie, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Nittany Lions send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to throw, it's green. Release to the back. Short throw to the sideline, complete, and he'll pick up the first down. Really nice timing on that out route there. Good anticipation by the QB, getting it out on time. And how about the receiver securing the catch, tapping the toes before he went out of bounds. Now on first down from the 28. He'll pull it on the read. Got enough for the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. He'll do it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The speed of these quarterbacks have just gotten insane. Week in, week faces so many guys that can just pick them up and put them down and chew up 15 yards like it's nothing. And they can make the throws, too. We call them dual threats, but really you have to be able to do both in this era of football. Yeah, and it used to be one or the other. You had a guy that could really, really run. You had a guy that could throw. Now, they're all packaged into one, and it's just, man, it's a headache. Using that running game to budge and forward, he's got four down to the 35. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. First down, is that alone? You know, just on this drive, the defense, they keep this up. They're going to get worn out and continue to have to play more and more guys. they got to do something to change this. And the Mountaineers will snap it on first and ten. 
Now on the option. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. They'll leave it with him. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. Wants to throw. It's Green. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Mountaineers. That touchdown puts him up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. An 84-yard drive there. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Makes a move. Got a little room. This guy makes you hold your breath when he gets the football in his hands and that last line of the coverage team, the only thing that stopped him from housing it. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. This offense has a second down play. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Quick completion on the out route. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. They'll need to get the ball to the 34 to convert this third down. Back to throw, it's Allard. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. The aerial assault continues. Caught near the sideline, it's Wallace. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route. This is a timing route. The quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And he's already made one. The holder will put it down at the 26 for a 36-yard try. Just drives it between the uprights. 
So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that will be the final point of this first half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. West Virginia has it back ready to dive into that playbook. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Now on first down from the 30. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's complete! And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Gallagher. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. The magic bead is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. And they've got their quarterback right now in a groove. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. The pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. Man, you know, you always look back in games at single plays that turn the tide. And with this defense now trailing by two possessions, if they could have just caught the ball and gotten that pick, that potentially changes everything in this game. That was a missed opportunity. Final seconds of the first half, and they'll try to put up three. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And after the missed field goal, guys, the lead's still at 15. West Virginia, 21. Six. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been to watch these two teams thus far there in Morgantown. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's take the old country roads on our way back to Mountaineer Field. second half he'll start the return inside his five not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work to throw it's green quickly complete oh he left him grabbing Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. 
Today's game in football is about getting your speedsters in space. Why? Because you let them do the rest. You get them the football quickly, let them break tackles. You see so many times them making plays after the catch. So hard to stop. Wide out in motion. Looking for space. It's White. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. They'll mark him at the 48. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. It's so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. Here comes the option. Now the toss. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Trying play action. He's moving out of the pocket. He's going to run it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. He was trying to push it downfield. He was looking for a receiver, trying to make a play. Could tell the pressure started to get to him a little bit. Nowhere to go with the football. Just fights back to the line of scrimmage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Fires to the right. He's got it. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Dropping back, it's Green. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Throws to the wideout. Laundry down on the field as the pass is incomplete, but let's see what the penalty is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On second down, wants to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's brave. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks complete some of these hitch throws early you're setting up the hitch and go later on you can pump fake that and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline that might be a home run play for the offense third and long coming from the 27 yard line you can make a field goal from here just don't take a negative play he's got an open man the tackle is made but he's got it first and goal from the six and that is a huge conversion on third and long for the offense. I think a lot of people thinking, hey, we're just going to try to get a couple of yards, help our kicker out here to kick a field goal. But instead, they get a massive play, and now all of a sudden, they're thinking touchdown here first and goal. Quarterback on the keeper. Touchdown, West Virginia! And the pummeling has started. 
Man, you've seen the evolution of the option, and you've seen the evolution with the scrambling quarterbacks that can run and be so dynamic and just so much to defend. The quarterback says, forget that. You defend everything, I'll take it myself in for six. And he up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Use the play fake, now to throw. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receiver's got to do a better job. Offense gets set for second down. The hand to the running back. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. third down and this offense is already in a world of trouble they could really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores looking downfield it's Aller. got him downfield oh look out the ball pops out and just like they drew it up right put it on the ground get it get the first down that ball carrier is very lucky that easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense you have got to do a better job with ball security And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front of the point. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Looking for room, it's Singleton. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. 
to the air. It's Aller. Makes the grab for the two-point conversion as they cut further into that lead. So an 82-yard drive there. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Not executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. To the ground with the back. Shakes off the tackle. Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Robinson. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little hitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. To the air. It's green. Working that left side now. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to bully their way for the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Reels it in on the left side. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Get a big play like that last one, you flip the field, you change the momentum, now it's first and 10 from the 38. He's gonna pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Nittany Lions racing to the line in the hurry up. Got it behind the line. It's Saunders. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. They get suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. 
Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They're going to throw it again. Catch in the middle. It's Singleton. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. When I can throw it to them, I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. Back to pass. It's Aller. He wants it all. And the throw and catch was good, but you got to do it in the field of play, and he couldn't quite keep that foot in bounds. Nice job by the defense there, mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range, they go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Off play action on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. The outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you got the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. They'll throw it on first down. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. After the misfire, now on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The handoff keep working on that clock. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking downfield, it's green. Immediately fires to the middle. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. The Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. Gonna run it. It's white. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And they take it in for six more points. That one might have put the finishing touches on this game. This one is over. Game, set, match. The defense had a chance to maybe kind of keep their team in it, but the offense said, take it to the locker room. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21 point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. The deficit is large. Hope is fainting, but they'll try to finish strong. 
made a lot of mistakes in this game, and that's why it looks like they're going to take the L. Lots of things to improve on, lots of things to coach upon, and at this point, I think if you're a head coach, David, you're just trying to see which of your guys are quitting late. Yeah, which is a real thing, by the way. Uh, who's going to compete to the final whistle? Who, what do we talk about all the time? The coaches are always preaching to these guys. Don't worry about the scoreboard. Just compete as hard as you can. So good opportunity to try to finish this game with something positive. Looking to throw at Dowler. Finds a man on the right. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Coming after him. Got a man. It's Fleming. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. He's going to pass on second down. Fires to the wide out. He makes a catch. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The Nittany Lions with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Looking down the middle. Excellent coverage and good use of the hit. Knock it away. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. On second down, he'll fire. Grabbed in the middle, it's Warren. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. And they'll get to the line and spike it to stop the clock. It's now second down. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw. It's Aller. Pressure coming. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Timeout called by the offense. 23 seconds remaining in the game. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Offense getting set for first down. Got to get everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. It's second down. And after this play, the cake will be baked. He wants to pass it on second down. Makes the grab. It's Singleton. And that is how we will wrap this one up.